Tourist venue bosses are urging the Prime Minister for clarity when he reveals his roadmap out of lockdown next week. The industry has lost more than £80 billion in the past year, with around half of workers in the sector on furlough. Our chief correspondent, Richard Gaysford, is at Chessington World of Adventures this morning. Morning, Richard. And they're desperate there for some certainty from the government, aren't they, about what's going to happen next? Yeah, they certainly are. Visitor attractions like this, Charlotte, uh, might have big budgets. They've also got big plans that stretch five or ten years in a row. Here at Chessington today, they're unveiling the Croc Drop. It's their latest ride. It's cost them millions of pounds, and they've constructed it largely during lockdown conditions. So the problem is they have absolutely no idea when they're going to be able to see any return on that investment, when people are going to come back into the park to start having fun again. And whilst the, the staff that they have here, they can furlough, sadly, they're not actually hiring those seats seasonal workers, so many people rely on that work around here. Uh, they can put a pause on the rides. They can't put a pause on the animals. More than a thousand animals in the zoo all need the same level of care, the same amount of food. Uh, it costs an awful lot of money and there's no cash coming in through the tills. Families should be here having fun, but the strange silence and empty rides tell an all too familiar story. Lockdown sucking the joy and the cash out of visitor attractions like Chessington World of Adventures. Of course, animals at its zoo continue to receive first-class care, but like their keepers, appear to be missing the crowds. It is very different to what we're used to. Obviously, I've done quite a few years of being open to the public and being able to educate people on the animals that I get to work with every day. And now being closed and not having the people around is so quiet. Visit Britain says the British economy lost just under £80 billion last year because of Covid restrictions on tourism, with 45% of all workers in the sector currently on furlough. The greatest help that can be given to visitor attractions is, is helping them to open as quickly as possible so they're making the money that they've lost and they can repair their balance sheets. The owners of Chessington have invested millions in a new ride but have no idea when the croc drop will get a bite of its first thrill seekers. We're normally used to seeing a very firm and hard opening date and we're all driving very hard towards that. But in this instance, because we, we haven't quite got that, we still have to push our teams very hard. But there's always a, la a little bit of uncertainty back of people's minds what that, that opening date's going to be. This year, they're marking the zoo's 90th birthday. But in the grip of a pandemic and the strangest time in its history, right now, it doesn't feel like there's much to celebrate. Richard Gaysford, Good Morning Britain.